I'm honored to have Abacus Watchtower with us today, who will be bringing us a first on Heartwood Tower Voice, an actual program beyond my humble, semi-regular announcements that I make here. Welcome to your show, Mr. Watchtower. Thank you, Mr. Fildebeck. I wanted to apologize for my tardiness. Mm, let me guess, you fell through a platform? Of course not! Falling through platforms is for laggards! Uh, apparently some salmon-colored equines were vandalizing the hinges while I was in transit. Ah, oh, the fabled pink ponies. I thought we'd seen the last of them. Well, it's good to have you here now. Should we get on with the program? Who are you calling a program? I mean, we're broadcasting now. See? The crystal is glowing. Ooh, a glowing thing. You don't see too many of those nowadays. Or at least I don't, since my work usually involves digging at rusted old relics of the past age. Hmm, you don't say. That's what I used to do before I got this job. So I've heard. Actually, that's what I wanted to talk about. I still remember that fateful day. I woke up to the Amanita-shaped cloud on the horizon, but then the next thing I knew, everyone was being herded back to the groves, except for us clockworks. Being Europe's foremost authority on man, I was able to put two and two together, and now after hearing your broadcasts, I know who to take the task for it. Really? You really don't know what you're dealing with, do you? Happy winter dawning, more like nuclear winter dawning, and how about you make a New Year's resolution to cut the blue wire next time you see a giant metal spheroid with clockwork parts inside of it? How did you even survive that, by the way? Your squishy mage's body should have been vaporized by that blast. Eh, uh, frost shield? Ah oh, yes, I should have thought. Useful power, that. Never leave it home without it myself. I hope you enjoy casting it every ten minutes from now until the fallout blows away. And I'm not talking about how we already fall out of this tower all the time, what? My people restored the land once already, and we don't need any more messes to clean up, thank you very much. Well, how was I supposed to know what it was? What did you think it was? A Garden of Eden creation kit? Even the war pigs had sense enough not to mess with it. The war pigs? who couldn't brew a decent beer in the best brewery in the very homeland of beer with 11 recipes to choose from. And now with the brewers all evacuated, I haven't had a good warm stout in months. You know, it really grinds my gears when they're not properly lubricated, eh, what? It... Clock was got to have his hops and barley oil. All they've got around here is wine. Just gets sticky inside and comes up the works, if you know what I mean. You know, I think I need to go lie down. Well, well, we'll be back with more of that, provided Mr. Watchtower is properly lubricated next time. If not, we'll see what grinds his gears.